Ahead of the 60th celebrations of Uganda's independence, today we take you back with all you need to know about the railways. Uganda Railways Corporation is a government parasteto formed after the collapse of the East African community. Before the collapse of the East African community, the Uganda Railway was part of the East African Railways, a body formed by the British to manage the network. However, with the breakup of the community, the East African Railways and Harbour Authority was no more and gave birth to the Uganda Railways Corporation in 1977. But what informed the construction of the railway? The British constructed the line to establish firmer and more effective control over their spheres of influence, which was Kenya and Uganda. The idea was mainly to effectively control events around River Nile source in Uganda. The Uganda Leire, as it came to be known, was more of a military and political move than commercial as the British wanted the natives to believe. The control of the Nile was of a major importance to the British in Uganda. George Whitehouse, an experienced civil engineer, was tasked with the building of the Uganda Railway after introducing a bill in Westminster, which later became Uganda Railway Act 1896. During Uganda's real glorious days, it covered 190 km from Kampala to the Kenyan border and 8 km between Kampala and Port Bell, with other lines connecting to the main route. From Kampala, it went to Kasese in western Uganda, and its northern route went through Tororo, Mbale, Soroti, Pakwach and Lira and ended in Gulu town covering 1,266 kilometers in Uganda alone. It was in 1989 that the last train to Kasese made its journey that three years after its maiden trip and 58 years since it had reached Kampala. Currently, the passenger train plies four trips daily during working days from Namave to Kampala with stops in Nakawa, Spedag, Kireka and Nambole, and finally terminates at Namave. Uganda Railways Corporation's railway network operates from Mombasa to Kampala via Malaba, from Kisum to Kampala and Jinja, peer through Lake Victoria, and from Dar es Salaam to Kampala via Port Bell over Lake Victoria. Unfortunately, only 400 km of rails are functional. With the departure of the British, the Uganda Railway has grappled with a number of challenges. It is estimated that the country has over time incurred a loss of over 1 billion US dollars in stolen railway materials. The 400-kilometer railway line of Busoga and Kasese has been completely uprooted and the land taken over by people who have settled on it. It is also reported that the Kampala Port Bell line has suffered a similar fate. In the 2021 Auditor General's report, Uganda Railways Corporation land worth 91 billion Uganda shillings lacked land titles as evidence of Uganda Railways Corporation's rights to own and use the property. In a bid to resuscitate the line, the government has spent over 10 million US dollars on its rehabilitation but that hasn't yielded much. Derek Kabianga for BTM News.